Hello, hello. I am just adding our link. Awesome. Hi, Mari. Hello, hello. Welcome. Hi, Jen. Hey. Hey, Rebecca. How's it Hi. going? Good, good, good. How about yourself? Going well. I had a little issue uh, signing in with adding the title. I'm not quite sure why I couldn't do that and join on live. So sorry about that. It's all good. It's all good. But we're here. My head is trying to cut off. <laughs> yeah, so I was just going to say, yeah, please adjust because I couldn't see the top of your head. <laughs> it's like, well, you guys can all see my forehead. Yeah. Well, we only saw the bottom <laughs> half. It's it kind of, you know, oh, really? just, yeah. Okay. How about now? Now it's great. Okay, good. Yay. You look amazing. Right here. Oh, thank you. I did my makeup. Fabulous. I did my hair. <laughs> yeah, I just yeah, I'm up myself. excited for being here. Yeah, same. Thank you so much um, for being here. I'm so excited to chat with you today about our Sunset Sisterhood celebration. That's why we wanted to go on live today to just share a little bit about why we felt inspired to create this event and a little bit, I'd love for everyone to learn a little bit about you and about me and what we're bringing um, to our circle next week. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So you want to just get started? You want to wait a little bit before if there's any more people that want to pop on? Yeah, I think we can go ahead and get started and if people can always watch it later. We'll definitely uh, have this saved uh, so you can come back to it later if you if you missed it. Absolutely. So tell us, um, well, one, I just want to say I'm so honored to host this event with you. Um, we met uh, almost two years ago, or maybe two, mm -hmm. around two years ago when I moved to LA. And it was interesting because I was just talking to the women in the Sacred Beauty Collective uh, last night about how passionate I am about creating community and, and how kind of just realizing over the years how important it's been to me um, in so many facets of my life. And so when I decided to move from New York City to LA, that was one of the first things that I knew I had to do was to find community and to reach out and see who was here and, and who mm -hmm. I could connect with and collaborate with. And you were actually one of the first people that I met um, during that time. And I found you, I think, on Instagram. So, you know, I think yeah. social media can really help us in that way in, in terms of, you know, finding and connecting with people and found that you were a healer, um, local to the area, and just loved everything that you represent and everything that you do. And then, of course, when we met, it was just like instant sisterhood, I felt like. <laughs> yeah, yes, absolutely. And we yeah. had such a connection. Mm -hmm. So I really, I just feel so honored to be hosting this event with you and being able to collaborate with you in this way. Absolutely. I mean, I definitely feel the same way. You know, it was, it was we are kindred spirits. <laughs> and I like the balance that we have of our, um, our gifts as well as our personalities. So I yes. think like that's also what shines between us both is that we bring out the best in each other, I think. And or, like, that's the way I feel. And I think that's also what resonated for this sisterhood is like the, the development of it is, you know, having conversations over the years and just really figuring out that, you know, we're growing entrepreneurs, we're growing women. And sometimes there's people from our past or even family, friends, you know, that don't really understand what we're going through. And I love the idea of bringing us all together so that we can be part of the collective of other women who may be going through some transitional period or they're learning more about their spirituality, their intuition, um, and just bringing in that kind of energy, you know, um, my mystical side, uh, my, my spiritual intuitive side, like really loves it. And I did actually um, look to see what the moon phase was going to be for that night. 
And for any moon lovers, you know, you'll understand, but it's a waxing gibbous moon. Mm -hmm. And what that means is that it's not a full, full moon just yet, um, but it's on the way. So I think this is also a really good sign for us to come together because it's about really cleaning up everything that we are working towards, like whether it's our personal development, our relationship development, I think we could really hone in on the lunar energy that night as well and see what she has for us in that sacred space. So good to know. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yes. We're going to be outside. So we're going to be able to really bathe in that um, literally Probably. sun setting and, and moon showing up for us um, that evening. So that's going to be really special. Mm -hmm, exactly. And we get the balance of the masculine and feminine because, you know, we're there at the sunset and, you know, the moon's not going to be quite out yet, or maybe it will, but we can have that balance of, um, you know, that sun, the masculine energy and the moon and the feminine energy. Yes, please. Love it. <laughs> um, Jen, do you want to share uh, for those who may be joining um, via my community or anybody new who's joining in? Do you want to share a little bit about who you are, what you offer, how you arrived at this present moment in time? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll try to keep that part brief. But yeah, I'm the creatrix of the Mystic Living School. So if you're into like energy work, intuition, spirituality, self development, self empowerment, um, healing any types of uh, relationship wounds or generational wounds, ancestral wounds, definitely follow me on my page. I'm at Mystic Living School. And um, really the the oh my gosh, my throat. Hold on. Yes, please. Hydrate. <laughs> <laughs> the birth of this, you know, I've been in uh, an entrepreneur for almost eight years. I've had my business, it'll be this is the 13th year. And I've been solely on my own. And the idea was to really create a community for other women of color. I'm Mexican and I wanted to be able to be a leader in my community and to be representative to other Latinas and other women of color who were on a journey. Um, most of us um, come from, I shouldn't say most of us, but most of my community has come from a background of some type of religion. Mm -hmm. You know, I grew up Catholic and so Sometimes as an empath, as an intuitive, and growing up in religion, we're already developing a sense of shame. And so we lose our identity and we lose our connection to our ancestors. So the development of my, my business has really been to hone in on that community and let my community know that there is this sacred space and how do we remember um, what our DNA tells us, what our ancestry, the, the positive parts of our ancestors that um, were healers, um, were um, educators and leaders of their own community. And so I have a certification program and I take people who want to become energy healers through a whole process of that. And then I also offer one-on-one -on -one metaphysical sessions. And those are very like deep rooted channeling um it's evolved over the years you know it's not just doing an energy cleanse of the chakras there's readings there's like information from your ancestors or guides that come through um so i do that and then i also provide um meditations i work with sound healing i work with anything that's vibrational so oils, crystals, as you can see here, I'm burning um, one of my cones. So I like to always provide some type of um, sacred space. So that's me. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And for my, What's that? Yeah. And for my community who may be watching this later, you know, if you could tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I am a plant-based beauty makeup artist, uh, wellness coach, and founder of the Sacred Beauty Collective. 
and that is a monthly membership community that's all virtual right now. Um, and it's a place for women to gather to explore inner and outer beauty through self-love, sisterhood, and spirituality. And I came to this place after being a makeup artist for 21 years um, this summer, actually. And uh, my journey as a makeup artist was very much parallel to my own wellness journey and spirituality awakening, if you will, um, that kind of started a little over 20 years ago and um, led me to becoming a health coach and then creating something called the Sacred Beauty Salon Series, um, which was an opportunity to bring women together to have these conversations about uh, beauty on a deeper level. And the idea really is that beauty is a spiritual experience. It transcends what we see with the visual eye. It's something that we actually feel. And I realized that cultivating um, beauty from within was something that I was just so passionate about sharing and something that resonated so much with me on my own journey. Um, I kind of started with, you know, being in the beauty industry, but also struggling with chronic cystic acne, which was what led me to spirituality, healing myself through um, plant based diet and lifestyle and really just a holistic approach. And so that's really been such a big part of my journey over the years. Uh, so today I do offer uh, virtual sessions. Um, I call them embrace your face. And that's a makeup lesson or consultation mm -hmm. where we get to sit down and go through uh, your makeup routine and kind of how you're approaching it. My philosophy is really that makeup should be a tool for self-love and self-expression and something that we do because it makes us feel good, not because we feel like we have to. And so that means different things for us at different times in life. And so what I'm really passionate about is working with women to find out what that means for them right now and to help them find the best uh, plant-based beauty products that will serve their needs. Uh, and then I also coach women one-on-one -on -one, uh, through my sacred beauty coaching practice. And that's where we get to sit down and work together a little bit more intimately and, and look at everything from the products you're using to what you're saying to yourself when you look in the mirror and what it looks like to practice self-care and how a plant-based beauty approach uh, can serve you. And so that's uh, mm -hmm. something that really uh, resonates with me and that I love to be able to offer as well. Uh, and then the Sacred Beauty Collective is an online community. And uh, as I mentioned, and you can join, we have a private platform. And then we also host biweekly events where we talk to incredible guest experts, women in the community. I do focus on uh, highlighting women of color uh, because I feel that it's an important conversation to have. And I want to be able to amplify, amplify and, and highlight these voices in our community. And so that's something that also has really been a godsend for me and for our members throughout the year because, you know, it's been so challenging to not be able to host these things in person, which is, you know, my first love. Mm -hmm. um, but there's mm -hmm. something magical about bringing women together. And so that's what I've been focusing on is just really creating community and creating a space for women to explore beauty uh, from a more holistic and spiritual perspective. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. And so we, you know, what we do, I think is so, so aligned. And I was fortunate enough to, you know, receive your services uh, pre-pandemic and, and really experience your one-on-one -on -one work, which is so powerful. And then to watch you build your community, the Mystic Living School, through the type of education that you do and really empowering other people to tap into their healing gifts and to be able to bring this work into the world. And so I love that we're able to, you know, bring our communities together in this way. I think this yeah. whole idea kind of evolved I believe it was, I don't know if we had a phone conversation first about it, but I know that we met up at some point after not seeing each other yeah. for a while and just kind of yeah. talking about what we were passionate about right now and what we felt like mm -hmm. was needed. And clearly um, gathering in person is, is something that we've all been missing. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. I think it was a phone call and just the conversations of what, what we need and what our community needs too. And it just kind of evolved into this understanding, this bigger picture of, yeah, we need to connect with other like-minded spirits, other like-minded souls who are on this path. Because as I mentioned earlier, like you could be improving in your life or your relationship or how you feel, or maybe you made a career change and not everyone, not your friends or your family, 
may get that or just the, the, um, how meaningful and moving out, how deeply um, meaningful that can be. And so I definitely think that this is just a natural um, space that was created for us to bring in other sisters who want to get deep in who they are. And hopefully if they don't bring a friend or if they do bring a friend, they could make other friends you know, really being able to see each other, as you mentioned a lot when we were talking about, you know, what what is the value of us getting together in person and why now? And I think there's so many different layers, but as far as I know and what I talk to my community about, my clients and, and my students, is that connection of not being felt like you're an outsider or embracing that you are an outsider, but that there are other outsiders, you know, (laughs) so that's the category I'm in. Like, I feel like I've never really, you know, fit in any subculture or any type of group. Mm. And so I wouldn't say I'm necessarily an outcast, but that's kind of like the vibe I, I personally put on myself. And so it's nice that, you know, creating this community of uh, my uh, entrepreneurs and my certified energy healers is that we all find like this connection like oh good I've been feeling this way all my life or I've been doing this all my life but I've had to hide it or people thought I was weird and I'm like I love weird bring it on <laughs> you know <laughs> you know or introvert you know um, I'm naturally an introvert you know online like these kinds of things I'm very shy but you know when I know someone or I feel like a connection, like how we did, like I just felt safe and I feel grounded and I feel like I'm, I'm, I can be myself. So that would be what I want to bring to this gathering is for people to really, you know, tap into their authentic self Mm -hmm. and just be them. Yes. And to be able to celebrate um, that authenticity and because we are on uh, the waxing gibbous moon night, like being a- able to cultivate that in the in the circle, I think is definitely really empowering. And it gives us a vision of how do we um, strengthen our, our inner light. Absolutely. I love it. All of that. Mm-hmm. Yes. And I, you know, to just kind of build on that, I think absolutely like community is so needed now more than ever perhaps i think in the past community may have been a little bit more natural for us but especially because we've been living through a global pandemic uh, i think community has really taken a back seat in many ways we've had to kind of put our lives on hold you know in many ways and so I know I found that between moving across the country and a a pandemic, you know, I found myself, you know, kind of feeling ungrounded and unconnected to community um, in many ways, because that's just a product of of change and of going through life's transitions. Mm -hmm. And so even if you find that you've had a solid community in the past, but right now you've been feeling really alone because you haven't been able to see people or perhaps, you know, realizing over this past year that, Maybe the friends that you were close to don't share your values um, or you can't have certain conversations with them. I think that this is, you know, we've all been going through so much change and really upheaval over the past year. And and that's really why I felt so called to, like, create a space for us to come together and, and be just in each other's company. And one thing I found mm-hmm. through all of the live events that I've hosted over the years is just that there is a palpable magic, if I could say, that happens when women come mm-hmm. together in a space of yeah. love and healing and beauty. And there's something just about seeing one another, hearing one another and sharing our stories that is like a healing balm for the soul. You know, I think mm-hmm. just that aspect of knowing that you're not alone in your struggles, um, in your isolation, in your feeling like you don't belong, perhaps, um, knowing that you know, you're surrounded by like-minded sisters. You know, I like to say sisterhood is medicine. And I truly do believe that like time spent in the company of, of women is, you know, it can be so very healing. And and I've been missing that personally. I was talking um, on the live earlier about this, how, you know, 
through you know many months of the quarantine many of us have only been in the company of our partners um and mm -hmm. children and and some yep. of them may be male and so you know you realize that you're not actually spending physical time um in the presence of women and that's why i was so excited to do something in person with you and you know as you know i definitely had my reservations about um hosting something in person because i've been like super cautious about um you know social distancing and you know really taking all the precautions seriously but it was great that we found a way that we felt comfortable um coming together being outdoors being in nature i mean that all feels so good and nourishing to me mm -hmm. um as well and so i think that you know being able to create that experience of of just being together and and sharing our stories is something that i'm really looking forward to next week absolutely so with that you know just to kind of address um the cdc guidelines you know we we are you know as rebecca said we are taking precaution and, you know, advising everyone to be compliant with masks and we are going to be uh, social distancing. We are going to be doing um, some exercises and um, it's whatever comfort level that the individual is like we embrace your own individual nature. Just the fact that you're there is, is a sign of your connection to the embodiment of women and sisterhood. Um, but we also want to, you know, um, respect your level of health and, and what you believe about all of that. And um, yeah, so we'll, we will be wearing masks and we will be having some level of distance. Um, but you know what? We have adapted, you know, yes. especially us women, we're always having to adapt to so many things that I think it's in our nature to easily be able to adapt to our situations, to our times. Mm -hmm. And if that is something that is um, causing you to be on the fence of whether to come or not, you know, reach out to us, ask us questions. Like if you are really nervous about, you know, because with the uh, Delta variant, you know, that spiking up and the COVID spiking up, like if that is what's holding you back, like we are here to, talk to you about it and, you know, being very frank and very clear about, you know, we're wearing masks and we're keeping distance and, yes. you know, however distance that looks like for you, you know, yes. um, I will be um, ending us in a self love um, sound bath. So it doesn't really matter like how close or how far you are, because you're going to hear it and you're going to feel the vibrations of that. Yeah. So I think just know that it's safe we are outside and we are surrounded by nature by mother earth and um yeah so i think we can welcome that <laughs> absolutely i love that yes and i second that please do reach out if you have any questions concerns um want to know more oh i just realized that i forgot to bring the products over but i did want to mention that um when you sign up and when you join us next week we have an incredible gift bag courtesy of our friends and partners at Beauty Heroes. And they've- Do you wanna get them? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll grab them. Yeah. They've donated okay. some lovely products. So I'll go grab them so I could show them to you. Okay. okay, awesome. Yeah. So while Rebecca's getting that, you know, um, we're really excited to bring you all together and connect and vibe with the sounds that I'll be playing. Um, so you'll get yourself a little sound bath um, and being with nature. And then you also get to take home um, these beauty products and start exploring um, what these products do for you and, you know, how that can also create your own manifestations of your beauty and whether that's inner and outer beauty. Yes. And yeah. so one of the things that I really miss about having in-person events is giving away amazing plant-based beauty products. So over the years, I've had the pleasure of developing relationships with a lot of these brands. And I'm so fortunate that they've um, been so generous uh, to donate products for our events. So I'm like super excited to be able to actually give people physical products that they can take home and create a beautiful mm -hmm. self-love beauty ritual with. So nice. the first item is the facial polish. And this is by a brand called Ranavat. And she is actually mm -hmm. local to LA. She's amazing. 
And this line is based in Ayurvedic uh, ingredients from India. She's Indian and she's sourced everything from India using really beautiful ingredients to create her products. And so the facial polish is a bit of a, a cream uh, cleanser, cream cleanser and makeup remover, which is awesome. Uh, next oh, we cool. have Blissoma. This is a phyto brightening serum. And so this is great for um, helping to brighten up the skin, especially if you have sunspots or um, scarring or anything like that. Um, really helps to uh, even out the skin tone from Blissoma, which is beautiful. And then we have the Purity and Grace Facial Wash, which is a oil-based um, makeup cleanser and face wash. And then the Intuitive Spray, which is my personal probably favorite. Ooh. These are by Max and me. And Jen, you would love this brand because they are all about the mystical life. Like they wear white as they prepare the products and they pray over Dang. it. And they, yeah. they gather ingredients from their garden and from all over the world. It's really, really special. The Intuitive is a facial mist, but it's also like an energy clearing spray. So it has Palo Santo and all nice. the things. Um, sustainably harvested, of course. And so you could spray it in your, your um, before you meditate, you could spray it throughout the day. I absolutely am obsessed with this stuff. And you'll also get the pocket guide um, from Beauty Heroes. And so this tells you all of the products, all of the ingredients that you want to look for in your products and all the things that you want to avoid and why. And so this is a super oh, handy wow. little pocket guide that breaks yeah. everything down for you, which is, really awesome and it's a 134 dollars value i believe for the the gift bag so it's pretty yeah. awesome oh, you yeah. know yeah <laughs> that alone yeah that you're alone, getting this I deal. Think, absolutely <laughs> if you're on the fence come for the gift bag you know and trust me you'll you'll have a great time and you'll you'll really enjoy these products so i can't wait to give them to our guests next week and then we also had some bonuses that we were going to share as well yeah so my bonus is that for those who sign up today, that's today, that is Friday the 13th. Um, and for those who sign up today, you will get a free download of a 60-minute uh, sound bath. And this sound bath is to help you to raise your vibration so that you can embody that self-love and embody just the vision of where you need to go from this point in your life. And I think um, if you listen to that before we actually meet up in person, I think that's a great way to have even more clarity as you come into, into our circle. So that's what I'm gifting in addition to oh this God. amazing product. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So good. And your sound baths are so healing and incredible. I can't wait to experience it again in person. Um, oh, next thank week. you. And I'm offering a one-on-one -on -one sacred beauty discovery session with me. Um, and that's where we'll, we'll sit down and talk about what your questions are around beauty, what your challenges are. Uh, you'll walk away with some practical tips and solutions as well as product recommendations uh, from our time together. And hopefully it will, it will be a great way for us just to get to know each other and, um, you know, continue to work together. So I'm excited to offer that to anyone who joins us. And we're also going to be raffling something off next week as well. So we're going to be adding a little bit more sweetness to the pot. So definitely be sure <laughs> to stay tuned and follow us um, here on IG. We'll be sharing here as well. Um, and Jen, sh they can find more information in your, um, your bio. Where, where else can they learn more about you? Yeah, at my website, themysticlivingschool.com. So that's themysticlivingschool.com. And you can see uh, what the school is all about. If you're interested in doing some deep spiritual work or ancestral work, I offer um, my one-on-one -on -one sessions. If you're interested in becoming an energy healer and you want to develop your skills, your innate gifts, um, we're, I'm going to be... Um, announcing the uh, fall uh, pretty soon. So you're welcome to get on the wait list. Um, so just go ahead and, and sign up for that wait list. Yes, I love it. And you teach so many amazing things in the school. I've had the pleasure of dropping in on some of your bonus sessions and it's, it's just been so fun.
Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. And I wanted to open it up to if anybody who's tuning in now, if anybody has any questions for us about the event or about our offerings, um, we'll give a moment for, for you to type in in the comments. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to share? And if you're interested in learning more about my offerings, you can definitely go to my profile um, here at Rebecca Casciano, and you'll find links to our VP for our events, of course, next week, as well as to learn more about my virtual makeup lessons, uh, Sacred Beauty Coaching, and the Sacred Beauty Collective community. So I'd love to invite you to explore that as well. Yes, exactly, exactly. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. Well, is there anything else that we should let the sisters know about what, you know, what we haven't already explained? <laughs> If there's anything else that we might have left out that you feel like you want to add in? I think we've covered everything. Um, tickets are $33. And if you bring a friend, it's 50 yeah. for the two of you. So you do get a little bit of a discount if you bring someone. And I do want to say that space is very limited. Um, this will be an intimate circle because we're meeting in the park. And you have to have a permit if you have a larger group. So it will be a small group. Um, so definitely encourage you to to get in there um, if you're interested and um, let us know if you have any questions feel feel free to reach out we're, we're more than happy to talk and answer any questions that you have and um, just yeah super excited to see you all next week exactly, exactly. i hope to see you all next week or at least some of you <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah well That's we already awesome. have we already have some other uh, women uh, who have already signed up. So it would be nice to add in a little bit more um, so that we can create um, the abundance of our circle and see what magic and, and what we can manifest that night. Because um, it's not only just about the support and being seen, but it's, you know, I think like, having an intuitive experience that whatever message or clarity that you've been seeking, I think this is a, a great um, time for us to come together as well for that. So. Totally. Totally. We're going to have conversation and then we're going to go deep. We're going to play a little bit. And then we're also going to have the sound bath, which I think just takes it up to the next level because you really do experience um, just beautiful energy and vibrations through through that sound that you create and so i think that's really going to be the icing on the cake um, for us to to experience that together and i should just mention some of the details um the sunset sisterhood celebration is next thursday august 19th from 6 to 8 p.m uh, it's at lacey park in san marino which is right outside of pasadena it's actually the same neighborhood as the huntington for those of you who follow me and have been curious about the Huntington, I post about it all the time because it's, you know, one of the most magical places and, and Lacey Park is one of our favorite parks we both love and that's why we decided mm -hmm. to host it there. And mm -hmm. so if you're in the LA area, hopefully that will be convenient for you and you can make it over. Um, we do have the link here pinned, uh, tinyearl.com slash sunset sisterhood. Of course, you can find that in the, in our bios as well. And I think that's everything. I think that's it. <laughs> awesome. Yay, yay, yay. All right, everyone. It was so nice to be here. Thank you, Rebecca, for having you, me. Jen. Yes, I'll see you all next week. Yes, happy Friday. Happy, happy weekend. Friday the 13th. Yes, Friday the 13th. <laughs> Lots of love. Bye. Thanks, Jen. Thank you. Thank be you. Well. Bye. Bye. Bye.